Today, a traveling memorial opens to the public at Canal Side, and it serves as a sobering reminder of the toll that opioids take on families here in western New York and across the country. It is called Prescribed to Death, and it shows the human toll of the prescription drug crisis. Daybreak's Heather Lee is live at Canal Side with the details. Good morning, Heather. Hey there, Pete and Melissa. Good morning. The public can start to check out this traveling memorial beginning at 11 o'clock this morning. It's going to be on display here at Canal Side through Sunday, and it's really meant to put a face on the opioid problem instead of just handing out statistics. I had a chance to get a sneak peek yesterday as they were setting everything up. Now, the centerpiece of this exhibit is a wall of 22,000 white engraved pills, each of those representing somebody who died of an opioid overdose in the year 2015. The National Safety Council launched the memorial as a way to get more people talking about the problem and hopefully to spark a conversation on ways to fix it. Each of these pills represents a very personal story, one of them belonging to Avi Israel and his wife. They founded Save the Michaels of the World after losing their son, Michael. Some of his belongings will be on display as part of this exhibit. There's also going to be a small remembrance room where visitors can hear Michael's story in a short video. When you look at the walls stretching straight, 22,000 stories, 22,000 faces go on forever. Uh, when I first saw it, it was as if somebody hit me right across the chest. The pain of Michael's loss came right back. There's 22,000 stories that could be told here, and the number is growing. Guests can add to a digital memorial the names of loved ones who died because of opioids. They're also encouraged to leave photos or flowers, but please note that if you leave those things behind, they will not be returned to you. Again, this memorial is here through Sunday. It's open daily from 11 until 8. Live at Canal Side this morning, Heather Lee, Channel 2 News Daybreak.